Hi, Michael Crandon, State Member for Coomera with some exciting news around our Northern Gold Coast Community Green Grants. Uh, we sent out a broadcast to all of the schools and sports clubs around the area asking them for ideas and the wonderful news is we're about to announce all of those people that are going to receive either five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars as a result of their their uh, submission to the program so who are the winners well first of all we've got Pimpama State State School with their project based around building and establishing gardens to grow their produce for the school canteen. Congratulations to Pimpama State School. Next one on the list, Wungulba State School with their project based around recycling and the purchase of nine recycling bins. Third one coming up, Picnic Creek State School with their project based around diverting all food scraps from landfill to com comprehensively composting and worm farming. And the next one, Livingston Christian College. Congratulations to you guys with their project based around purchase of recycling bins initiated by the Student Council itself. Well done. On with the list, Tagulawa School, just down the road from my office here with their project based around purchase of green waste bins for the food waste and compost bins to reuse food waste for their on-site veggie patches. Congratulations, Tagulawa. What else have we got here? Coomera Rivers State School with their project based around paper recycling led by their year four students and the need to purchase recycling bins. That's what we're going to be investing in there. Congratulations. Ormo Bulldogs AFL Club with their project based around purchase of the recycling bins to collect cans and bottles for the Containers for Change program. I think they have about 16 uh, home games a year and they reckon they're going to, be going, going to really uh, clean up with uh, being able to gather all of that, um, those bottles and cans. Wungulba State School Parents and Citizens Association with their project based around creation of a sensory area in the school with resources purchased being recycled or upcycled locally. Fantastic news. And the winners are, we're back to the beginning. Well, you might have counted those through and you might have established that we've got more winners than we offered in, um, in uh, contributions. We mentioned when we put this out, broad, put the broadcast out, that we were going to have two lots of $1,000 and four lots of $500, totaling about $4,000 that we were going to invest in the Northern Gold Coast in these recycling projects. There were so many projects that came uh, came from so many different places that we felt we've got to increase the budget and so we have. So all of those uh, winners uh, are winners and uh, at the end of the day uh, the community is a winner because of all of these fantastic uh, recycling programs that all of those winners have uh, come up with. Congratulations again.